We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 7.15 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside. Full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 100% plus within an hour guys and as you see it popping up there within the screen within the options chain some options even win higher than that if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing to fight to hold support above the 450 area and trying to retest key resistance levels and in today's video i'm going to break down the key levels i would watch going into next week as well as what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run idea was from our netflix bot our netflix bot sent out a bull indicator at 9 45 a.m and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 300 percent plus within an hour guys and as you see it poppy up there within the screen within the options chain some options even win higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area today. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index under a bull indicator in today's pre-market at 454 and inflows crossing over, canceling out that bear indicator from yesterday at around the 458 area. And here it is trying to retest that area up here at the 457 area. Now, after those inflows crossed over, outflows have began and the inflow versus outflows are getting really close to the midpoint there. And that's going to be crucial and critical going into next week. I would not ignore this. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys the key levels I would watch going into next week. So the first thing is when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we could see here how inflows cross back over. It was going to be crucial and critical to justify any possible strength to the upside and a full transition from the dip area to the rip area has happened so far and a bull indicator popped up here at the 455.40 area canceling out that bear indicator from yesterday and it found support not that far off of it at the 455 area and bounced back up that here in the after hours it is trying to fight 
to get back over 457, right? It's at 456.87 right now in the post market. Now, here we are with inflows at 2.43 and above the midpoint, and this needs to continue to go higher to justify any further strength to the upside and the strength of this bull indicator, because if it starts heading back down, it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts, just like it did yesterday, followed by a bear indicator and outflow crossover, and look how quickly things drop. Now, not guaranteed to make the same exact move, but definitely something to not ignore. So these inflows definitely need to stay above to continue the possibility of this staircase effect and the strength of this bull indicator as it tries to retest the 457, 459 area as it's trying to push up higher. So here we are with it under a bull indicator on the 30 minute, but these outflows, they continue to get closer to the midpoint. And just like on the one hour, if it crosses over, it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts. And not only that, but also here on the 15 minute as it's back above and fighting to stay above the midpoint. And if it crosses back down, it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts. And this bear indicator needs to get canceled by a possible bull indicator. If not, it could continue to dominate plus the outflow crossover and the continuation of weakness here on the 30 minute is definitely something to not ignore as it's trying to head towards the midpoint. Now it's flying out, but before it was looking pretty sharp to the downside. If that crosses, I'm going to be watching that very carefully. It could quickly start to reflect that weakness to test key support levels. Now, what are the key levels I would watch? Well, the first thing is support. And if these outflows cross over here on the 30 minute and also here on the 15 minute and start reflecting that weakness into these charts pretty quickly, continues with that bear indicator on the 15 minute and goes ahead and cancels out this bull indicator here on the 30 minute and gets a bear indicator and outflow crossover. The first support is the 455 area. Then below that is the 452.50 area. And if that gets broken through, the next support is the 451.50 area, as we talked about in the previous videos. And it was used as support as it came down to it yesterday and bounced back up towards the resistance up here of the 457 area. Now, what are the key levels I would watch to the upside? Well, these inflows need to continue pushing up, not just here on the 30 minute, but also here on the 15 minute. Cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator as that strength reflects into the charts. And same thing here on the 30 minute, continue the strength of this bull indicator and the staircase effect to the upside. And the first resistance is 458. Then above that comes the 460 area. And then the next level we'll be watching above that is the 462 area. So these are the key levels I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. The bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows. I would not ignore them as they're still above, but they're really close to the midpoint here on the 30 minute and the 15 minute. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. So if you made it this far into the video and you are a swing trader or looking to gain an edge when it comes to swing trading, you're definitely going to want to check this out. And this is our new swing bot that will be fully released really soon. And so far it has sent two notifications in the last several days, right? The first one, as you see it poppy up there was Nvidia on Friday of last week at around $444. And the other one was Tesla yesterday in the pre-market and from yesterday to today and even yesterday alone it ran up nearly ten dollars plus now when it comes to the nvidia one you could see it poppy up there on the screen i shared the chart yesterday and i also circled an area as you see it there in the chart how it kept on bouncing off that support and trying to hold above 444 and then i put a line across when that notification came in and now you're seeing this other chart which i shared today in the pre-market and i stated right you could see the same line there and i put the swing by notification there at around the 444 area it was already opening up from yesterday to today at 449 and i talked about in that purple area the area that kept on acting like support and there was a strong resistance in the pre-market and previous days at the 452 area. And the bulls would need to break through that for possible continuation. Not guaranteed, but it was important and inflows needed across. Now, when you see it here in the next chart, 
going into the open it was broken through bull indicator popped up and then inflows crossed over and you could see the purple area that continued to act like support and nvidia calls were up nearly a hundred percent plus with the swing notification bot since it was sent out right and you could see that blue line again where that notification was sent at that after hours on friday so this is our new swing bot if you take a look at tesla 2 it sent it out at around the 256 dollar area and tesla went to highs here of nearly 270 dollars in the last two days and it was sent out yesterday in the pre-market right right around this area and the full move so typically with these swing bots and the notifications that come in they're there to add perspective nothing's guaranteed but the goal is for it to add perspective take a look look for possible support levels and bullish confirmations of a reversal and from there it typically pans out within several days to weeks but sometimes it could happen this fast within one or two days and when it does i typically tend to make a rational decision because maybe my goals and strategy and expectations have been met right i don't want to get too greedy either but i wanted to share with you guys our new swing bot that's going to be notifying directly into our discord on high probability opportunities based off specific criterias and dip areas of why we're fred borders as i call them on multiple time frames and other criterias to confirm of the possibility of it looking like a possible support or area to not ignore for a possible swing of a reversal as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money